Besides closures, we also get another special thing about functions. We can write functions that will immediately get executed when the code runs through our JavaScript file. These functions are called immediately invoked function executions or IIFEs or IFEs. Now, how does this work and why could we need it? Let's have an example. I'll create a function and it'll be a function named calc. And I will just log. Now, if I hit run, you of course don't see anything because this function doesn't get executed automatically. Now, however, I can add parentheses around it and add parentheses after it. Now this looks strange, but it looks a bit like a function call where this would be the name and then we have parentheses to execute this function if we imagine it like this. If I now hit run, what do you think we'll see? We see calc. So this function here inside the first pair of parentheses gets executed immediately. Now rightfully you might say, why do I need this? I could have just written console log calc, right? Because all the code here besides function gets executed immediately anyways. So why would I do it this? This is just more characters and it looks a bit strange. So what's the advantage of this approach? The advantage of this approach simply is that we are using local scope here. Remember that functions create their own scope, the local scope. So by doing it this way, we make sure that we don't pollute the global scope with our variables. And I'll showcase this. I'll set up a variable here, which I will call number, and this will be just 10. And then I will simply log number here. Now, I will also try to log number outside of this function then. So this line here will get executed after this function and we'll see if number is available here too. What do you think I'll get if I hit run? 10 and then that number is not defined an error because it's registered in the local scope of this function here and not on the global scope. And that is the reason why you would use ifies just to make sure that you're not polluting the global scope with variables or maybe you might have variables in the global scope that will interfere with some other variables. Maybe you have a third party package which uses certain global variables and you accidentally overwrite them or in your application because it's very complex you do the same and overwrite global values. So by doing this you make sure that the variable is only available inside this local scope and not everywhere. Now I'm not saying you should write all your code as ifies, but it might be a good approach if global scope pollution could be an issue in your application, which of course depends on, well, the size of your project and as I said, maybe the inclusion of third party packages. Now another interesting thing is you can also pass a value to an ify. So if I add the input here and I set number equal to input and then I pass 10 here in the second pair of parentheses, I'll get rid of this console log function which was throwing the error. If I now hit run, we still see 10. So we're able to pass the 10 into this ify and then use it in this function. Now what do you think happens if I do the following? I create an object and I pass this object into my function. And in here, what I do is I'm not logging anything, but I'm setting object.name equal to max. And now I log object. What do you think I'll get if I hit run? Well, I get the object with the name because we created the object on the global scope. So it is registered in the global scope. And then, yeah, I'm using an ify, but in the ify, I'm, I'm only changing this object, which is already existing on a global scope. Therefore, I am able to print it here. And I do see the changes because, again, I'm changing the global scope object 
not a local scope variable here. I'm not creating a new variable inside this function. So that are ifies and this is how you use them and why you could use them. And as I said, you don't have to write all your code in ifies. You may do it, of course. It really depends on your requirements and if the global scope should be kind of cleaned up or if you might have problems with other parts of your app or other packages or if this isn't an issue, in which case you probably don't need ifies for that.